Chess friends, the World Fide Chess Championship has been started, there is total 21 world's top player, the best chess player in the room is Magnus Carlsen, and today I will show you a beautiful chess game of his carrier, game PGN in the description box. Wait a minute, let me show you a puzzle first, it is your today's puzzle, 70 IQ puzzle, solve the puzzle, and comment me, I will put puzzle answer in the description. So, let's begin the game, Fabiano started with e4, Magnus, who is my favorite subscriber. He played e5, knight comes to f3, Magnus here played knight c6, bishop develops on b5, we have a6, many of my 1500 rated players play bishop takes knight, thinking pawn takes, then they will get a free pawn, if it happen, then queen to d4, targeting this and this, so, in this position, he played bishop back to a4, in this position you have b5, bishop to c5 line, Carlsen chooses to play knight f6, ok, we have short castle, if I played with black I would like to play knight takes e4, let me show the variation. If alpha is white, he would not choose rook here, rook to e1, because of knight c5, he would choose d4, then I will play b5, bishop here, d5, stabilizing the position, even if he gets the center pawn, then bishop to e6, bishop here, bishop to e7, and the game could continue like this, but they are not computers, back to the position, Magnus here chooses to play very passive move bishop to e7, I mean he is the gangster of chess, I don't know why he always play passive moves whenever he get black pieces. He wants to do castle short, protecting the knight, rook comes to e1, Magnus pushed his b7 pawn to b5, bishop back to b3, we have short castle, we have d3, making center structure, d6, copycat by Magnus, bishop goes to d2, in this position, best move is to move the bishop on g4, because the white bishop is far away, knight here, targeting the knight, because it's pinned to the queen, but Magnus played h6, he is still a child in chess in front of me, h3 by Fobby, copy child, rook slides on e8, we have a3, bishop on f8. Knight comes to c3, rook on b8, Magnus could play knight here, to go g6 square, then c6, a5, slowly bulldozing pawns on queen side, also he can strikes the center with d5, which is also available move, knight comes to d5, knight captures knight, bishop takes knight, knight back to e7, targeting back the bishop, bishop back to e3, knight jumps into g6, we have a4, he wants to make a open file, bishop comes to e6, threatening this, he wants to make a triple bondage b pawns on b file, bishop takes bishop. We have rook takes bishop, pawn takes b5, a takes a5, queen goes to e2, but best move was to play rook to a7, anyway, we have d5, because of queen on e2 move, the c pawn gets weak, Magnus can target the pawn potentially in the future, we have e takes d5, queen takes pawn, queen comes to e4, queen takes queen, d takes e4, the queen exchange is completed, the end game will start it soon, both players have same pieces. Almost same structure, and open files, but Magnus Carlsen is a stockfish subscriber, Fabiano suddenly realized it, he drinks some water to calm down his mind. Magnus said to Fabiano, well, let me go with stockfish level, rook to c6, targeting the pawn, he said nope, Magnus pushed the pawn, stabilizing the pawn structure, g3, well, b4 by him, you shouldn't take the pawn, if takes, then takes, I mean the b2 rook will be weak, right, will target it by two rooks, so, king up to g2, pawn takes c3, bishop takes pawn, bishop comes to d6, knight goes to d2, he can push the h pawn to h5, or he can rotate his knight to e3 square, ok, Magnus backs his knight, knight back to f1. Bishop to b4, rook goes to c1, bishop takes bishop, rook takes bishop, we have rook takes rook, pawn takes rook, rook goes to b3, Fobby slides his rook on c1, but best was to play c4, because the pawn on c4 square will be protected by the knight easily, Magnus brings his knight, knight to d2, rook on b2, knight goes to c4, rook slides on a2, the knight can go to c5 square, to target this, and d3, to target this pawn with knight and rook, ok, rook on d1, 
knight goes to c5, rook up to d2, you know what. Taking the rook with rook is not good, because there is knight and pawn, there is no way to win the game, so, Magnus slides the rook over, knight runs, knight takes e4, rook comes to d7, rook up to a2, targeting this, and you know what, there is no way to save the pawn, like knight d1, and knight g4 will not work, let me show you one by one, if knight g4, then h5, you will lose your f-pawn forcefully, if knight here, then rook d2, rook takes, knight takes rook, and c-pawn, bring your king. Black will make a passed pawn successfully, and king will lock in g2 square, because of the knight, which will be very bad, for that reason, he played king f3, we have knight takes f2. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. Bye bye, take care see you in my next video.